Those deniers, if they have no shame, why should I have fear? You can tell any lie about me. You are free to do so. You can pile up tons of lies. It won't change me. Absolutely not. It won't change this country to be what you want it to be. It doesn't matter how many lies. That I can promise you. There's somebody up. Life imprisonment was requested on Monday for former Rwandan policeman Philippe Hategikimana, naturalized as a French citizen under the name Philippe Mania, described by the public prosecutor as a fundamental link in the implementation of the genocide in Rwanda. Mr. Mania is the perpetrator of genocide and crimes against humanity urged Celine Viga, one of the two public prosecutors. He is not a little fish, he is not a mere executor, but a fundamental link in the implementation of the genocide in Rwanda in 1994. She insisted before calling for the most severe sentence possible for these crimes. In their two voice closing arguments, General Counsel Celine Viger and Ruisa asked the court to hold the accused criminally responsible for all the charges brought against him. him. Mr. Mania is charged with participation in a criminal conspiracy to, to prepare the crimes of genocide and other crimes against humanity. The 66 year old uh, ex Gendami is a liar and an affabulator, said the persecution, no credit can be given to him. They criticized the, defend the defendant's decision not to talk about the facts. During the trial, the accused showed no empathy for the survivors. They deplored even though dozens of survivors of the massacres had taken the witness stand. Not only did Philippe Mania take part in the massacres, but as chief warrant officer in the Gendarmerie, Li, he incited the population to kill, often setting an example himself. Mr. Hategekimana, also known by the nickname Biguma, is being prosecuted for his alleged involvement in the murders of dozens of Tutsis in the Butale prefecture, including the mayor of Untiazo, who resisted the implementation of the genocide in his commune. In particular, he is alleged to have ordered and supervised the election of the several barriers or roadblocks intended to control and kill Tutsi civilians. The prosecution also accused Mr. Mania of having participated by giving orders or even by being directly involved on the ground in three massacres that of Nyabul Hill where 300 people were killed on 23rd April 1994, that four days later of Nyamule Hill where thousands of Tutsis had taken refuge and that of the Institute of Agricultural Sciences of Rwanda where tens of thousands of victims were counted. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.